everybody, I'm making this video uh, that I'll release to everybody um, because uh, I've, I've had a number of, of, of students um, ask me about opportunities for credit recovery, um, which is, you know, hey, how do, I, how do I still pass this course even though I may have uh, really screwed up quarter one and quarter two? All right, well, if, uh, if, that's, if, that's something that you're, if that's something you're interested in, uh, the first thing that I want to present to you is uh, um, this, this video I made earlier this month called Grade Calculations. So your first step is to watch the following video called Grade Calculations. Here it is. Hi, Mr. Straczynski. Uh, I'm an English teacher here at Windsor Central High School. Uh, I'm making this video for all my students and for all the parents and guardians of my students too. I'm sending this to everybody. Uh, no guarantee this, this, this information in this video will be applicable to your situation, but uh, it might prove useful. And if I, I've tried doing some written versions of this and it just gets to be a mess in no time. So we're doing this in a video instead. And what I want to talk to you about is long-term grade calculation. All right, so the school year. Uh, we have first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, and a final exam. All right, so the final report card, will, your final average will be made up of those five grades. First quarter, uh, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, final exam. It's like there's five quarters to a year, which is not the correct thing mathematically to say, but I teach English, not math, so no worries there. So for each of the four quarters in the final exam, um, it, it, we, we get a number between zero and a hundred, and, and, and we're going to call them report card points. All right, it's not a not an official term or anything, but we're just going to call them report card points. If you got a hundred first quarter, you got a hundred second quarter and third quarter and fourth quarter, and you ace the final, uh, you got a hundred on that too. You would have a grand total of five hundred report card points. The magic number for uh, for for particularly for those who are struggling is three hundred and twenty-five. Once again, three hundred and 25. If you take 325 and divide it by 5, and I'm getting that number 5 from first, second, third, fourth quarter, and final exam, you get 65. What I'm telling you is you need 325 total report card points in order to receive credit for this class. Let's look at this scenario. Uh, let's say for third quarter, uh, you get an 85 in this class, which, by the way, is totally doable. Um, uh, everyone uh, that I've had that has gotten in every assignment, uh, and just by following directions and, and, and doing what I've asked, has at least an 85. So let's say you got an 85 third quarter. Let's say you got an 85 the fourth quarter, too. And let's say for, on the final, you got an 85 then. Now, please notice, I'm not talking about, you know, acing the next three quarters. I'm talking about something reasonable, an 85. If you got an 85 third, fourth quarter, uh, and final, uh, that's going to give you 255 report card points, which leaves you 70 short of credit for the course. So you may want to look back at first and second quarter and see what you got to total up uh, uh, those report card points and see where you stand. Uh, and if you're really worried about being short, um, you know, get a hold of me. Uh, I, I just I'm, I'm telling you this because I'm worried that I'm getting people that are already saying, "Well, this year's a wash." It's not. Earning credit for this course is in everyone's, everyone's, everyone's grasp still. And if the first half of the year went real poorly in order to get credit for this course, I'm not talking about devoting 12 hours of schoolwork every day between now and June. First of all, it's unreasonable. And who could maintain that? Now, hopefully, this is neat information, but you don't need it because you're kicking butt in my class and all your other classes. But if you're struggling in this class or another class, now is not the time to give up hope. Now it's just the time to, to get working. All right, so let's figure out how far along you are to getting your 325 points. What you got in the first two quarters, being this isn't a customized video for anyone watching off the top of my head, I don't know. Um, could I find out? Sure, I can. Um, but 
Remember, you got to get at least, if you're going to shoot for an 85 on third quarter, fourth quarter, and final exam, all doable, you're going to need at least 70 more points made up from the first and second quarter, which is like 35 points per quarter. Very doable, but there's no points in doing uh, first and second quarter work if you have no intention of, uh, of working to earn an 85 this third quarter. So the first thing you need to do is get current. So if your third quarter grade already stinks, then fix that first. Get the book read. Then you're gonna to need to contact me about the characterization of Mildred Montag essay. And then you're gonna to need to talk to me about the BD speech test, which is currently, I mean, neither one of these are currently accepting um, uh, submissions. You and I would have to have a discussion on how to get those things submitted because I'm not just going to open them up again so you can submit whenever you feel like. But you need to get caught up on the reading. And then you need to do what we do in class every day. The amount of people that are regularly submitting their work when it's due and they put some effort into it. You know how many of them are uh, have at least an 85? All of them. I imagine that'll continue this quarter and into fourth quarter and for the final. So again, step one is to get current with what we're currently doing. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle all of third and fourth quarter and into the final as well. Going back into second quarter to find meaningful things for you to do to get those grades to a salvageable level is something that we can do, but you have to get current and stay current first. So the ball is in your court. Um, get the book read. Get the characterization of Mildred Montag paragraph done. Uh, get yourself ready to take the BD speech test and let me know when these things will happen and then I will unlock them. Until then, they will remain locked. After these things are after these things are done and you're regularly doing what we do in class, then it'll be time to talk about how to fix quarter one and quarter two. But I'm not gonna talk about fixing quarter one and quarter two if quarter three remains broken. And we're not talking about an obscene amount of work. We're talking something very reasonable, but you will have to ditch old, bad academic habits. All right, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Let me know if you have more questions or hey, let me know when you're ready to submit the characterization of Mildred Montag paragraph and when you're ready to take that uh, BD speech test. How will you know when you're ready to take that BD speech test? Well, you might wanna check out BD's speech test uh, video and assignment. Remember, all the videos are in Schoology for whenever you need them. They never go anywhere, all right? Again, questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, Mr. C's out of here.